Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jimmading here today with a modded PC build this time. A viewer called Crackdar named this one on my community page teaser post, so prepare to feast your eyes on Whitewater Keep. Thanks again to Crackdar for that. A list of mods will be in the description, and if you're only after a finished tour of the build, a timestamp for that will be too. If you enjoy this video and it gives you some good ideas for your own builds, please hit that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more. Likewise, join me on my Facebook and Reddit channels in the description too, as I'd love to start a build-oriented community. Drop me a comment if you'd like me to start a Discord or something. Whitewater Keep is located at the Jut on the northern shores of Siptar, which I'm playing on a lot lately. As for the floor plan you see now, it is nothing too fancy, but you do have to get that front entrance place right as this bad boy is going to have a drawbridge. I start with the front gatehouse. I've used arena foundations for the ground floor here, but the stone and white plaster walls I use are from the tavern set in Dude's Delightful Decorations mod. Same goes for the roof pieces I use later with the little windows built in. If you like building, then that mod is an absolute gem. Notice I used corner arch pieces on these front corners of the castle too to avoid ugly corners sticking out through the bottom of the overhang in the cliff. Good thing about those tavern pieces as well, if you're not playing in creative mode they are tier 1 and only need a lot of the early game materials so you don't have to grind all the levels out before you get to use such cool looking materials. These 2x2 gateways and the drawbridge I use are also from the Dude's Delightful Decorations mod and I really rate them. Why we've not got 2x2 gates in vanilla yet I do not know, but bear in mind you can't ride a mount through them. The stairs I'm placing here are actually a decorative item and not a standard stair piece. I believe they're from the dude's delightful mod too, but can't be sure on that. The wooden support beams I place are also decorative and are from the Pythagoras support beam mod. I use them to make this large open dungeon bit a bit more structurally realistic. Thank you. 
With the main structure done, I now get to decorating, most of which I'm going to do off screen as this video is already getting a bit long. I've gone for a workshop and crafting area in the large dungeon below, leading up to a couple of smaller bedrooms and cooking area in the middle floor, and a master bedroom at the very top of the tower. I also added a wheel of pain around the back of the build, precariously hanging over the edge of the cliff using a treehouse foundation. And after all of that, the build was complete. I really hope you found this video simple to follow and if you appreciated this build once again smash that like button and subscribe to me. This has been Jimmy Ding, have a good one guys.